welcome to the first edition of Club Bremen Spotlight. We're really excited about this new form of communication. I'm your host, Danny Bayard from Bremen Motorcars, and I'm here with my pal, Larry Podwell from iHeartRadio. Danny, great to see you. It's been a crazy couple of months, but let's get right to it. Well, you know what? We're going to get right to it with Dougie Almeida. He was our uh, comedy host for about three years since we started. And it's got to be really difficult. Well, I know it is difficult for these comedy guys to do it without a, uh, an audience. And Very Dougie tough. put Very together tough. a great little skit for us. Let's watch it, like right now. Hey, thanks, Danny and Larry. I miss you guys a lot. Hope you're well. What's up, Club Brayman? How we doing, everybody? Dougie Almeida from our comedy shows at the iHeart Performance Theater. We miss you guys so much. We look forward to getting back and entertaining you and making you guys laugh. And who doesn't need a laugh right now, right? I got to tell you, it's so hard. My tour has been, uh, nobody's touring, there's no comedy shows. We're actually starting to do them again in certain places, but oh, it's so hard. And somebody actually asked me, they go, Doug, can you actually think of something funny with all everything going on? Can, can you make, can you actually have a joke about COVID? And I really don't want to, but here's one thing. I can tell you this, one good thing that has come out of this COVID-19. It'll be a long time before anybody puts their parents in a nursing home again. <laughs> I can tell you that right now and I can tell you no one's ever gonna put me and my kids are never gonna put me in a nursing home you wanna know why I know that because I ain't got no kids <laughs> that's why at any rate we uh, here's the thing TV's horrible there's no sports and every there's so many bad things happening that you, you watch the news you get depressed right you don't even want to watch the news here is some things that I would much rather do than watch the news you guys ready I would rather pluck hairs from my nose than watch the late night news. I'd rather walk naked in front of hundreds of people in the cold weather than watch the news. I'd sit through a timeshare seminar twice than watch the news. You see what I'm saying? The news is horrible. Things are horrible. People, it's just horrible and it's very depressing to me. And I'm a comic, I want to have fun. But here's the thing, here's some news that has happened over the last few months during this whole thing that is interesting and somewhat entertaining. Pennsylvania woman allegedly kept grandma's corpse in a freezer for 15 years just to collect her social security check. <laughs> the gig was up when Guinness Book of World Records showed up asking to see the woman. She was supposed to be 148 years old. India captures a spy pigeon that they claim came from Pakistan. They were got a little suspicious when they caught the pigeon. He had a camera, a notepad, and a turban. Woman saved after breast implant deflected bullet away from her heart. And they say breast implants aren't safe. <laughs> and they looked real. Woman fined for taking turtle for a walk in Rome. Imagine taking a turtle for a walk. She asked if, the, if she could get an extension on the fine, uh, paying the fine, for what she returned from the walk in 2034. Twins born during coronavirus outbreak in India named Corona and COVID. And I gotta tell you, their brother and sister, bubonic plague and Ebola, were happy to see them. See, there are funny stories out there, everybody. And you know what? Through all this, we gotta keep our chin up and we gotta keep our hopes alive and our thoughts up there in the sky. And pray, guys, just pray that we all get through this. We will all get together again at the iHeart Performance Theater. I miss all of you so much. God bless. You guys stay safe and well. And if you can, hopefully I made you laugh a little bit. And if we didn't, then you're just probably too miserable anyway. God bless you guys. Stay well, and we'll see you soon. Funny stuff. Great job, Dougie. Can't wait till we're all reunited and uh, doing it live at the Brayman Performance Theater. You know, I miss the camaraderie of that theater. You we know, had a lot of fun, didn't we? Comedy nights, Casino Royale, wine and paint. I mean, what's there not uh, to love? Yeah, we'll do it again. It was a fun run and uh, bigger and better when we get through this, uh, this current crisis. Back to you, Club Raymond members. <laughs> take notes, okay? Because, as you know, we love to give out prizes. So take your notes. There's going to be a quiz after. As you may know, Bremen Motor Cars is a major sponsor of the Malayan Tiger exhibit at the Palm Beach Zoo. Malayan tigers are probably the most endangered subspecies on the planet. Since 2011, they've been trying to breed Malayan tigers with no success. And then it happened. Three adorable tiger cubs were born. 
you're not going to be able to see him for a few months. But Palm Beach Zoo curator Mike Terrell will share more information right now. Hi, I'm Mike Terrell, general curator at the Palm Beach Zoo. And on behalf of our entire zoo family, we'd like to thank our partners, Brayman Motorcars, and all of the Club Brayman members for your generous support of our tiger habitat, which will soon be the living space of Oppi, our Malayan tiger mom and her cubs. And speaking of these adorable balls of fur, Oppi gave birth on the evening of May 12th to three tiger cubs, which is cause for global celebration. These cubs are very important to the survival of the Malayan tiger subspecies, as there are less than 200 left in the wild. We are sharing special access to behind the scene footage of the cubs just for you. Again, thank you Club Brayman members for caring about wildlife and wild places. We hope to see you soon at the zoo. Wow, congratulations to the Palm Beach Zoo. Hey, don't forget uh, tiger mom, Appy, and proud tiger father, Kadar. I love that name, Kadar. Kadar, it's great. You know, uh, the zoo is something we're really proud of here at Bremen Motorcars. It's one of our pillars of philanthropy throughout the community. Great stuff with the zoo, but you know something? You guys at Bremen Motorcars, you kept everybody safe. Uh, you want to talk about Danny? just what transpired in regards to uh, uh, making the showroom and every aspect uh, as safe as possible during this new norm? You know, what, what's really uh, humbling and what I'm most proud of is actually not only the sales departments for what they've done, but the service departments. Yeah. Uh, putting together a pickup and delivery service, and they've got this new uh, sterilizer system for all automobiles. Whether your car is picked up or brought in, they sterilize it before and after the fact. Yeah. Let's take a look at this video. Excellent.
another car-related topic. Danny, don't you guys at Brayman Motorcars have a professional race driver on staff? His name's Freddie Rimrav, Freddie my associate, Rimrav. my partner from 22 years ago when I first came to Bremen, and uh, really an accomplished race car driver. As a matter of fact, I was over at his house. I went to the basement, grabbed some boxes of some old footage that the guys have stitched together for me. A little bit grainy, but check this out of Freddie back in the day. Holds a commanding lead here. Right now, let's go down to the pit with Steve Evans and a young lady who has had an enormous influence over the fortunes of women. Ready to come out, so they're going to continue racing. Up, Claude walked up the right front, giving Freddie a wide open door. He took it too. Look at him. Slipped right inside there. A pass for the lead, and Freddie Remra marches out to hold down the lead position as we're just about exactly at the halfway point in the event. The expense of this man, Steve Shelton, still examining his maroon race car over there at the uh, end of the S's on the outside of Lime Rock's uh, racetrack. Tough break for Steve Shelton, a good break for Freddie Remra. 26 years old, his first year in Formula moving up from Formula Four. Well, he's adapted nicely, Brock, because if he can just keep that car on the pavement and stay out of trouble, he will, in a very short amount of time, get his first Formula Atlantic win. And there it is, the checkered flag for the first time ever goes to number 28, Freddie Brimley. The flagman's hand. We're waiting to see whether or not it comes out. And it does. The checkered flag is now waving. All right. And we have Freddie Rimmerin holding the victory. Welcoming committee here in Victory Lane for Freddie Rimrap. Freddie, congratulations. Your first ever professional win. You'll remember this one a long time. I sure will. It was great. Uh, we went through a lot of development with uh, Quicksilver, and I marked this one developed. <laughs> Absolutely. The purpose on the racetrack. And Freddie, I'm sure you saw Steve Shelton off in the, in the boondock. Could you tell what happened to him at all? I don't know. He just went off in uh, the right-hander after the left, and I saw some smoke, and I saw the gift car there. And I'll take him any way they come, to tell you the truth. You saw that? What did you say to yourself? Just cool it. Just keep my head, but don't change the pace. All right. There's a future champion. You can bet on it. Freddie Remrev. Exciting stuff. And Freddie works right here at Porsche West Palm Beach. That's correct. And as a matter of fact, we've got a program that if you buy a performance automobile from any of the Brayman Motor Cars franchises, Freddie gives you personalized instruction. Wow. He's at the track That's once impressive. a week. And it's just an incredible program. Great On guy. top of that, if you don't buy a very high performance automobile, we've got a program called Autocross where you can go to the track, Palm Beach International Raceway, by the way. It's a professional track. We teach you how to properly drive the automobile, and it just makes you a better driver. Yeah. And if you got teens in the household, all right, you can have them benefit from the teen driving program. So once a quarter, stay tuned to clubbrayman.com to see dates and times of the next coming autocross and teen driving programs. Freddie's always very gracious of his time, and he's compiled some how-to tips just to navigate through South Florida whether it's on 95 or Okeechobee Boulevard or whatever, take a look at this video. I think you're going to like it. And before you do, understand that this is about 40 years later than his previous winning video. So he's going to be dated a little bit. As we all have. <laughs> <laughs> well, fine wine. <laughs> Hello, my name is Freddie Remrev. I am a global brand Porsche ambassador for Porsche of West Palm Beach and also a driving instructor for high performance driving events for Brayman Teen Driving and Brayman Autocross. Today we're here at Palm Beach International Raceway and I'm going to show you some tips, seat positions, uh, hand positions that will be helpful for Club Brayman high performance driving events. I'm right in here with our driver Kristen and Kristen's going to show us everything how to set up right now this is probably the setup I see mostly for a lot of people on the streets that I see Kristen we're in a setup right now 
and it looks like you, you can hold the bottom of the wheel fine, right? Right. So let's go put you like leaving your shoulders back, put your shoulders all the way back, touch the top of the steering wheel. That's what we don't want to do. So we want to get a nice arc. So what we got to do is let's do this. Let's tilt your, your back up a little bit further. And that position right there, that's what we call nine o'clock, three o'clock. That's the optimum position for driving. But put your hand at the, put one arm at the top of the apex. Perfect. You see how she has a slight bend? That is the way you want to drive a car, basically. So we want to try to do the pedals. Pedals, uh, we got to try to move a little bit closer. So as we move everything a little bit closer, she's got a firm hold of the brake. Let's try your throttle. Are you at a full throttle? Yep, yep we're at a full throttle. The only thing we have to really concentrate on now is her sight line. So how is your sight line looking at everything? Are you having trouble looking right. over? Yeah, no visibility. So we'll want to move it up a little bit more. So as we go up higher, she might have to readjust a little bit as far as bringing the steering wheel. You can do it by two things. Telescope the steering wheel in, and then that will give us a little bit more room. Or telescope out. Can it move in, Kristen, at all? If we push out. out. So it's, if we go in all the way, so we'll go in all the way, and that gets her kind of to her original spot. So now, how is your vision of the gauges? Very clear. Okay. And over is fine? Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Full vision of everything. So that's a perfect position. Mm -hmm. The only other thing we want to concentrate on when you close the car doors, you just want to set up your, you know, your outside mirrors, your left mirror and your right mirror. I always do it for touching the fender sometimes. Um, and you rear view mirror. And that should be good. Thank you. Is that good? It's perfect. Okay, we're ready to go on track. All right, let's go. So hopefully these tips will help you in driving, getting you out of any dangerous situation. Next time we're going to cover some things that will help you, that especially that we get into the rainy season, especially the hydroplaning situation. So see you next time. I'm Freddie Remrev. That was a great tip from Freddie. Next time he'll be here to talk about driving in rainy conditions. Now we go back a long time. I know how fond you are of Italian food. So this next segment is going to make you very hungry. I'll tell you what, I'm fond of all foods, but Zuccarelli's, <laughs> nothing like it. Great Italian food, and Olympia led us into her kitchen and to tell us a little bit about her restaurant. Watch her here. Welcome to Club Raymond Spotlight. Today I'm here with Olympia Zuccarelli, who I've known for Gosh, how many years have you been to About 20. From Zuccarelli's Restaurant and Bar, in, right in West Palm Beach. And uh, for those Club Raymond members that come to our events, you're no stranger to Zuccarelli's food because Zuccarelli does just about all of Club Raymond's catering. So we're here today to talk a little bit about your restaurant. We want to hear a little bit about the uh, new business that you're opening with the uh, takeout and take home and reheat foods. Yes. We want to hear about your plans, how you've been going through this crisis, and I'm so proud to see that you've evolved. The restaurant is going in all sorts of new directions. So Olympia, let's start from way back when and keep everybody in temptation of what's happening now. When did the restaurant start? 1981. And 81, and it wasn't at this location? No, we were across the street. Okay. So when did you move to this particular location, and why don't you tell everybody where it is? Uh, we're on the northwest corner of Okeechobee and Military Trail. We're here 10 years already. And of course, with a name like Zuccarelli's, you know, it's Italian. So tell us a little bit about the specialties here and what you guys really uh, love to serve up. Well, we're here with my family. We, uh, everything's made to order. Um, we make everything here. My father makes the homemade sausage. Um, we just basically... Um, you know, we're here to just accommodate our customers. And for 39 years, it's been working. 
as a true family restaurant. As a true family restaurant, and now we've expanded our industry to take out prepared foods. Huh, okay, so you're gonna tell me about that after I tell everybody about Mom's Salad. What's the name of that salad? Cosenza Salad. Cosenza, I call it Mom's. I don't even know the name of the thing because ever since it was introduced to me, it was Mom's Salad, this great invention of blackened shrimp, blackened, blackened chicken, chicken, avocado, tomato, olives, lettuce. If you like salads, you're gonna love this. And a famous house dressing. Tell us about the uh, foods to go. Yeah, we're gonna be uh, doing uh, dinners to go for two and four people. Okay. And uh, during this pandemic, I've seen that the takeout is where we're at at the moment. And I think it's going to be an addition to our business. You know, that's one thing that I've really admired about Zuccarelli's because uh, they were the first to join our takeout network on Club Raymond. So they were the first restaurant to offer takeout. And they just expanded with a variety of really great ideas and stuff uh, uh, during this, this crisis. And I, and I compliment you and I congratulate you. you on that. Thank you. And I also congratulate her on this book. Tell us about the book. My cookbook, it's going to be four years now that it's out. Um, it's doing very well. I'm very thankful to all my supporters. Um, it's got 52 recipes, and it's about me growing up in the industry. So as we flip through the pages, you can see all sorts of really good meals and good history and all that sort of stuff. So definitely grab a copy the next time you're in for dinner at Zuccarelli's Restaurant and Bar. Now, Thank you. <laughs> Club Raymond, you've been a member Long time. For, oh my gosh. Uh, I've been with Brayman for 22 years and you preceded me. Yes. Okay, with a few cars by yes. the time I got there. Uh, how many cars have you had from Brayman? Seven. Seven cars? <laughs> all BMWs? Yeah, all five series. All five and series. a six series, which I miss. And the X5, which I love now that I'm driving. Now, the one that you are always bragging about that saved your life. What was that? The six series. Six series, because Olympia was involved in a terrible accident just last year, year ago. and walked away from it, yes. but the car destroyed itself in the process. Yes. Fabulous. Olympia is gonna let us in on some secrets today. She's going to be cooking up something, a special treat for us to see how it's made. What are we cooking? Rigatoni alla vaca. Yeah, oh, <laughs> can't wait. So follow us into the kitchen and we are going to cook up some rigatoni alla vodka. Yes. Okay, today we're gonna to make rigatoni alla vodka. We're gonna start with a little bit of pancetta, a little bit of onion, and we're gonna put some olive oil. Just a little bit. We're gonna go here, and we're gonna get ready to get it hot. Take a few minutes. Always fresh ingredients at Zuccarelli's, always. Everything is made to order. We managed to maintain consistency after 39 years when it's cooked to order. <laughs> okay, a little bit of uh, vodka, it will evaporate all the alcohol. Okay, a little bit more until it's all gone. Okay, now we're gonna get the heavy cream. Put some heavy cream. Let it um, get consistent, nice and thick. We're gonna put a little bit of grated cheese. A little bit of pepper, a pinch. A very, very, very pinch of salt, just to enhance the flavor. We'll put a little tomato sauce that turns pink color, and we're just gonna let it get a little thickened, just a little bit. We added some grated cheese. Now we're gonna add some scallions, a little bit. Maybe a little bit of more tomato sauce, just a pinch, you know. And we're almost done. We're almost ready to put the pasta in. more grated cheese and a little bit of uh, parsley we're almost
almost ready to be served. Go here. And here we go, rigatoni alla vodka. One of the best things about being on Club Raymond Spotlight is that I get to taste the food. So here we have rigatoni alla vodka. Yes. What's in it now? A pancetta, which is like an Italian bacon with onion saute with a little bit of olive oil. Then we flambe it with vodka till okay. it evaporates. And then we add a touch of cream with tomato sauce. And we just thicken the sauce with a little grated cheese and that's it. Hurry, I can't wait. Okay, I'm gonna try this. Mmm. Mmm. That is fabulous. When are you open? Tuesday through Thursday, 12 to 8. Friday and Saturday, 12 to 9. And Sunday, 4 to 8. And we're closed on Mondays. So closed on Mondays, lunch and dinner every day but Sunday. Yes. Olympia, congratulations on this. Congratulations on your success. So, Club Raymond members, remember, for either takeout but definitely come and dine in-house. There's a 15% incentive that Olympia has graciously given for anybody coming to Zuccarelli's restaurant and bar. So remember to mention Club Raymond. Thank you so much, Olympia, for Thank inviting you. us and giving us a few secrets of your kitchen. Anytime, my pleasure. Now you have me hungry. I know for a fact, one of your favorite items on the menu is the rigatoni alla vodka. Best in the city. You better add my wife to that, too. It's Lily loves it, too. too. Loves it. You know, our staff is going to give you a few pointers on our next video. So watch this, and we'll be back right after. The summer is on. And the Bremen Motorcars is open for business. We know it's been tough, but we are resilient. And it's time to get you back on the road. And now, during the summer of Bremen, get exceptional savings on every new and pre-owned car. No payments for 90 days and 0.9% financing. Choose from over a thousand vehicles on seven indoor floors. Get out and drive. Enjoy the sun. Feel the summer and get a new car you were born to drive. Our showrooms are open, modified for your safety, and ready to serve you. Or buy from the comfort of your home or office. Whatever you choose at Brayman Motor Cars. We deliver. The Summer of Brayman sales event is back, and Brayman Motor Cars is open. For a world-class experience that we deliver every time. Brayman Motor Cars. BMW. Bentley. Mini. Porsche. And Rolls-Royce. West Palm Beach and Jupiter. The summer starts now. At BraymanMotorCars.com. We deliver. Thanks for joining us for our first edition of the Club Raymond Spotlight. Next time, we'll visit with an amazing woman nicknamed The Beast, who is actually on the cover of our spring summer edition of the Club Raymond magazine. Freddie Rimrev will bring us a timely driving tip, and we'll meet a Club Raymond member who lives two very different lives. Go to clubraymond.com to take a quick quiz for a chance to win one of 20 prizes. Danny had a great time. Thanks for having me on the show. Always a pleasure, Larry, and say hello to all of our friends at iHeartRadio. I will. And for all of you out there, Club Raymond members and others, thanks for having us into your homes, on your phones, and on your computer devices. We'll see you for the next edition of Club Raymond Spotlight. Also, for updates on Club Raymond and what's going on, go to clubbrayman.com and see everything there. Goodbye. See you soon.